What's going on? My name's Kevin and welcome to Lighthouse Man TV, where we make detailed product videos to help inform you, our customers, so you get exactly what you're looking for. Today, we're answering another question in our series called You Asked, We Answer, where we answer questions presented by our customers. This question comes from Don Eckert from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Don writes, Hello Kevin, I just received my revolving beacon, but it does not fit inside my light kit that I purchased from you a few months ago. Then I went back to your website and I saw that I was supposed to let you know I had this light and that I needed to have it altered to fit. So do I now need to send it back to you or can you please send me instructions on how to alter the beacon to fit? Sorry for the confusion as this is totally my fault. I can't believe I missed this. Please help Dawn. First off, Don, thanks for your question, and yes, of course, we will help, and no, you don't need to send back your beacon, as this is an easy two-step alteration. So, let's dive in, answer Don's questions, and we're starting right now. First, let me explain what is going on here and why our beacons need to be altered just a little to fit inside LightKit01. LightKit01 is by far our most popular light kit or top housing that is used in all of our stucco lighthouses and almost all of our DIY projects. Now, if you order a beacon when you order your stucco lighthouse, then obviously we will alter the beacon here at our factory so everything is all ready to go. Now, the problem that can sometimes happen is that if one of our customers orders a stucco lighthouse or a light kit 01 from our DIY section, and then a few weeks, months, or even years later, they decide to order a revolving beacon, then they must make sure they let us know they need their beacon altered so it will fit in their existing top that they previously ordered. Now we do have this warning written all over our revolving beacon page, but sometimes it's just overlooked. Then when our customer receives their beacon and it does not fit, then they need to do a slight alteration to make it work. And that is exactly what happened here with Don. Again, this is very rare, but this is a super easy fix and is never a problem. So, more or less, what we need to do is alter the beacon base plate just a little so it can sit on a 3.5 inch octagon junction box instead of the standard 4 inch junction box. Now, the good news is that this is a very simple two step alteration. Step number one is to remove the tabs or the ears off the beacon base plate. This is super easy. Simply take a pair of pliers. I personally use linesman pliers. All you need to do is grab the ears right where they attach to the base plate and bend this up and down two or three times and they will snap right off. Now remove all four corners or tabs on the beacon base plate so it looks like this. Now step number two, you're going to sit the octagon junction box in front of you and place the bump out or the interior bubble of the junction box so it is in the front right hand corner. Now take the beacon and make sure the motor is in the front left hand corner of the junction box and sit the beacon on the octagon junction box. Now. Take a marker and mark where you need to drill the holes so your new holes will line up with the junction box threaded screw tabs. Now take a quarter inch metal drill bit and drill two holes into the beacon base plate. I personally recommend putting the base plate on a hard surface like what is shown here. Make sure you hold the other end of the base plate with your pliers so you can firmly secure the beacon while you drill your quarter inch holes in the metal base plate. Now simply attach the beacon to the junction box. Please remember to not over tighten the screws to the junction box as this can cause the beacon base plate to bend or crown, thus causing the gears not to line up properly, thus causing the wobbling effect discussed in our previous beacon video. This is also a great time to apply WD-40 or lithium grease to clean out your nylon gears so your beacon will run smoothly. And that's it, you're all done. Now your beacon will easily fit inside any of our stucco lighthouses or your do-it-yourself light kit. 
Well, there you have it. Hopefully this video was helpful and answered any questions you had about altering our revolving beacons to fit on an octagon junction box. As always, if you have any questions or need anything, please feel free to call or email us and we will get back to you. If you found this video informative or helpful, then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Again, we make detailed product videos to help inform you, our customers, so you get exactly what you're looking for. Remember, the Lighthouse Man is the leading manufacturer of custom crafted lawn lighthouses and lighthouse accessories. Thanks again for watching and God bless.